So today we're going to begin a new subsection. So now it's going to be subsection number two, and we're going to be first be talking about this idea of what a relation is. So we're going to introduce relations. So today's objective, you guys are going to graph a relation, and you're going to graph and understand equations of vertical and horizontal lines. So the first definition we're going to introduce is that of a relation. It says that a relation is a set of points in the plane any set of points in the plane. Now, since these relations are sets, right, we use that nice, awesome, fancy word, we can describe a relation using those techniques we learned in 1-1. So there are three different ways that we said we we're gonna describe a relation. We could use um, any of those methods to be able to do that. And typically, you're gonna notice that we're gonna use both a graphical representation of a relation and Sometimes we're going to look at it algebraically. So for this first one here, it says graph the, uh, graph the following relation. And so it's saying this relation, this set R, contains the points negative 2, 1, 4, 3, and 0, negative 3. And so all I need to do is just plot them. So negative 2, 1, negative 2, 1. The next one is 4, 3, so over 4, up 3. And the next one is 0, negative 3, so at 0, down 3. And so here, all I did was just plot the relation, I am done. This right here is the graphical representation of this set here. Now example number two, now our notation is just a little different. Now we're defining that dummy variable to be a point. This generally means I'm telling you what x is or what x isn't, right? That's what a variable is gonna represent but now I'm saying that my y has to be three. So if I'm saying my y has to be three, then that means that this is going to be along this imaginary line that's right here. Because so I'm saying my y value has to be three. So my x, it'll tell me right here, is gonna be between negative two included and positive four. So my x starting at negative two included all the way to positive four, and so drawing that out, I have a negative two, and it's gonna go all the way to number four. So just to recap, all the x's, this is my dummy variable, and this is where it's saying x exists. Y has to be three, and so that's why I did that imaginary line there at three, and then it tells you where x is going to be existing. So for this one here, it's saying now my x is going to be three, and my y is a real number. And so my x has to be positive three. But y is a real number, which meaning it's every single value. And so we said x is three, all the y's, no restriction on it. And so graphing it, it's just gonna be a, a vertical line that's gonna go straight up and down, and it's gonna go forever because there is no restrictions. So let's do a few extra practice here. If I wanted to graph this relation, a point a uh, or from set a, my first point is zero zero. My next point is negative three one, which I can say here. My next point is going to be four two, which I'm going to say is here. And then my last point is going to be negative three two. So I'll go over negative three up two, and that's going to be here. So that I just graphed my relation. So for this one here, it says graph the following. Uh, once again, x, my dummy variable, it's going to be defined here, but I know that my y has to be negative three. So my y has to be negative three, so it's down there. And so graphing my x, x is gonna start at negative two inclusive with four excluded. So it's gonna start at negative two inclusive, and it's gonna end at four excluded and so it's going to be this line here. Now now we're going to start thinking about things a little bit more abstractly. So once again x and y dummy variables okay but the only thing I defined is that y has to be negative 2. So if y has to be negative 2 that means y has to be along here. But I didn't say any restriction for x. 
So I can make the assumption that x is now everything because I never restricted x. I only restricted my y. Now if you notice that example that I did there where I said that I had my x and y and the only thing that I had technically restricted was my y saying that it was negative 2. This actually represents an equation of a vertical or a horizontal line. In this case, because I said my y has to be negative 2, it represented an equation for a horizontal line. Now, we're going to kind of define this a little further. The equations of vertical and horizontal lines, the graph of the equation x equals a will always be a vertical line through whatever that x value is. And then the graph of the equation y equals b is always going to be a horizontal line through where my y value is. So in this case, because I said y equals negative 2, it's going to have to cross that point on the y-axis at negative 2. And so that's why it has to uh, be that horizontal line. It's kind of almost like a way to remember. Uh, imagine this. If I said y equals negative 2, but I drew it like this, did I ever cross the y-axis at negative 2? No. So that would be incorrect. So it's kind of like a way that kind of helps us how to graph the position of it. So let's do a few examples here. So this first one, graph the following, x equals 4. I know it has to cross the x-axis here at 4. And so I can draw it, this horizontal line there at 4. For here it says y equals negative 2. I know it has to cross where y is negative 2, so that's here. And so that's a reminder, it's going to be a horizontal line there at negative 2. For this practice problem, it says y equals positive 3. I know it has to cross the y-axis here at positive 3, and so I can draw the horizontal line there at positive 3 x is negative 1. I know it has to cross here at negative 1. And so that's a reminder, it's going to be a vertical line there at negative 1. Just because it says x is 0, it has to cross the x there at 0. It's still going to be a vertical line. And so that's going to be my answer. So to close today's lesson, let's go over what we learned today. Well, we talked about how to graph those horizontal and vertical lines, and we also went over what a relation is and how we can map one value to another value, and we looked how that is visually on graphs. So I want to hear back from you. What are the different things that you learned today? And then also, what kind of type of line is created when we have x equals a number or y equals a number? Like if I said, well, what does it look like when I have like x equals 5? or y equals negative 2. How is that drawn in our xy plane? That's, that's kind of like what I'm asking there. As usual, if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.